If you want instant feedback on your website, a presentation, a new design, or really anything you create online, you no longer have to ask somebody else and wait on their input. Google just dropped Gemini 2.0 and you can use it to get real-time feedback on absolutely anything you show it. The way it works is pretty amazing. You just share your screen and have a conversation just like you're talking to a real person. My name is Kevin and I'm super excited to show you how this works, so let's jump right in. So to get started, just go to aistudio.google.com and now I'm gonna show you two use cases here. I'm gonna show you how you can get feedback on your website and then I'm gonna show you how you can get feedback on a presentation but again, this is going to be using a screen share so you could literally show it anything, a logo you generated, really anything, maybe another kind of design you made, whatever you want. Let me show you how the website example works. And actually, I've been thinking about redoing the template of my website, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. So what you want to do is just go to stream real time, and then we're going to click share your screen. Now, I'm going to be talking to Gemini and not to the video, so I'll explain what I'm going to do first because I can't speak to the camera <laughs> and speak to Gemini because anything I tell you, you, Gemini is going to pick up on, right? So you'll just have to watch me and see how we interact, but I'm going to tell you what I'm doing in advance. So all you're going to do is hit share your screen. You're going to choose either the window or the entire screen that you want to share. And then you want to obviously have what is it that you want to share queued up and you'll see that I have it here. And Gemini is going to be looking at your screen in real time. So as you scroll, you can talk to it and give it more instructions and you'll see how I do that and how I just go back and forth like I'm really talking to a real person here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'll click share my screen. Hi, Gemini. So I'm going to be showing you my website and I want to get some feedback from you because I'm thinking about making some changes to it. Okay. Sure, I'd be happy to give you some feedback. What would you like me to focus on specifically as you are thinking about making changes to it? First of all, what do you think of the hero here? Do you think it's clear and do you think it makes sense? Okay, I see what you mean by hero. It is the area on the page with the main title, the best tools to make more, spend less, and work less, and the subscription box. I think it's very clear and it makes sense. The do you title describe. Go ahead, sorry. No problem, please continue. Do you think people would want to subscribe? Do you think that call to action there is clear? And what do you think of the interface? It looks like you're asking if the call to action, which is the email subscription box, is clear enough for people to want to subscribe and what I think of the website's interface. Is that right? Yes. Okay. I think the call to action is clear with the email field and the prominent subscribe button. As for the interface, it has a clean and simple design using a light color palette, which is very readable. Is there anything in particular that you are thinking about changing? No, let's move on to the blog section. I'm going to scroll down to the blog section and ask you a few questions there, okay? Understood. Let's move on to the blog section, and I'm ready for your questions. Here's the blog section. What do you think of the general layout? The blog section is displayed as a grid of six cards, each with a featured image, title, and a very brief description. This layout is clean and easy to scan. Is there anything specific you'd like to ask me about this section? Do you think there's something I could do to improve the layout here or improve readability or to help people find the topics that they find most interesting? The grid layout works well, but to improve readability and help people find topics of interest, you could consider adding a filtering or tagging system. This way, users could quickly narrow down content based on keywords or categories. Do you have categories for your blog posts? Yes, I do. Great, then implementing a filter based on those categories could be a good step forward. Would you like to explore that further? No, I'm fine. Thanks. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So I hope you saw how cool that was. And obviously you could have a full on conversation. I could have clicked into some things and just kept going there. I kept it high level to try and keep this video moving quickly, but you get the idea of the kinds of conversations you can have with it. It's really like talking to a real person. And if you noticed, I used a lot of jargon or industry terminology purposely. Like I called this section the hero, which is commonly referred to, and CTA, which is call to action. And it followed along. It understood all of that terminology. And that's really important because you don't want to talk to it like it's some sort of child or something like that, right? Or where you have to dumb everything down because that's just more frustrating. So what was really impressive about this for me is I can talk to it like I'm talking to another colleague who knows what I'm talking about. I don't have to talk to it like some sort of AI or dumb down what I'm saying or over explain anything. So honestly, it's 
really, really cool how they've been able to do this and it's so conversational. Now, just as a quick second example, I'll show you how you can do the same thing with a presentation. So once again, just hit stream real time and I'm gonna click share your screen. And again, pick the window that you want to share. And this is a presentation I've done in the past, but I just wanna share this to get feedback on it because I'm curious to see what it would say. So let's see how that goes. Hi Google, I'm gonna share this presentation with you and I wanna get your feedback. Sure, I'd be happy to give you feedback on your presentation. Is there anything specific you'd like me to focus on? So here's the title right now. Can you read the headline and the sub headline and even the little animation I have there with more text and just give me your overall sense of it. Is it clear? Okay, I can do that. The headline reads, how anyone can create a five figure per month recurring income business. The subheadline says, without a huge budget, wasting months getting started and only working three hours a week. And the animation says, passive income shortcuts in red with an arrow pointing to the title. Is that correct? Yes. What do you think? Okay. It is a very clear and straightforward title and subtitle. The text is easy to read and the little arrow pointing to the title is a good design choice. Is there anything else you would like me to review? No, let's move on to the next slide. Okay. I'm ready when you are. So here's my next slide and do you think this sets up the presentation well? Sure, let me take a look. The slide is titled, Why Passive Income? and lists three bullet points about its benefits. There are also two images. One is a selfie and the other is a family picture at a beach. Do you want me to comment on the slide or would you like to move on? Would you add anything else to this slide? That's a good question. The three bullet points you have are pretty compelling, but perhaps you could add another bullet point about the potential for creating multiple streams of passive income. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Great. Would you like me to continue to give you feedback as you go through the presentation? Or would you prefer to move on to the next slide? Let's go to the next slide. Okay, I'm ready for the next slide. Actually, let's skip a few. Okay, I understand. Let me know when you'd like me to look at a particular slide. Let's look at this one. Okay, I see the slide titled, What is a subscription? It categorizes subscriptions into content, software, memberships, and consumables, providing examples for each. Is there something specific you want feedback on regarding this slide? Do you think this is pretty clear that someone would understand what a subscription is? Yes, I think it is a very clear and well-organized slide. The categories are distinct and the examples given for each are easily recognizable. It seems like someone could easily understand what a subscription is from this slide. Okay, and so of course you can see here that you can get as deep as you want with it and no matter what the subject is, no matter what kind of content and think about how complex this is. There's images, there's information that's presented a different way and it's commenting on the text, it's commenting on the images, it's commenting on the placement. If you notice, it understood the images. It said there's a man there with a selfie style photo. It said there's a family on a beach. It knows what's even in the images. So this is really, really advanced and what's amazing is right now this is free now this is just scratching the surface with what gemini 2.0 can do but this feature alone is really really handy so go check it out yourself and if you found this video helpful do me a favor hit that like button consider subscribing to the channel and now if you want to see another great ai video check out this one right here